Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read a piece of scripture to you here from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4. Verse 12 says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye shall be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, on your part, he is glorified. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened unto you. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, maybe you felt at times, what have I done to deserve this or did I bring this on myself or I wonder why this is happening to me. All those things will pop into someone's mind here and there. Uh, maybe that's happened to you before. Uh, but the trials and the troubles that come, we look at those uh, in different ways. We use different analogies. Um, I've been a pastor for years and listened to music for years and, and uh, you know as well as I do that people will use uh, analogies of boats and ships and anchors and um, all kinds of things when talking about relationships with God and what Christ means to them and um, and and I was in a, a facility yesterday uh, me and um, brother Keith Stevenson <clears throat> this fella or this little lady said do you know the song, The Old Ship of Zion? Well, I had never sang it. Of course, I've heard people sing it um, for 30 years, 30 some years I've heard people sing it. But even the analogies there of uh, stepping on board and leaving one day and leaving all of our trials and our troubles, I'm sure... Uh, that none of us want to just up and leave our family or our friends. But I think there comes a time when we are so burnt by this world that we may even find ourselves saying, even so, Lord Jesus, come quickly. We may be ready for that. I remember a fellow said to me one time that he had never been sick in his life, and he was 94 years old at this time, and he said, maybe God has allowed me to be sick. So I will appreciate heaven more. That fellow's name was Suter Hoople. And uh, Suter lived in our area here. I know there are folks that watch this in South Carolina in different areas, but he lived in Southern Ohio. And um, I never forgot that. Uh, maybe God allows certain things here so we can appreciate heaven when we get there. Maybe so, I don't know. I don't have the answer to a lot of those things, but don't think um, that you're the only one. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. It's not just you, but God is there for you when you call out to him. So we'll give this song a shot today. And, um, I'd only, I'd only heard it without music. So I'm not even going to attempt to try it with. I was standing on the banks of the river looking out over life's troubled sea when i saw that old ship that was sailing is that the old ship of zion I see its hull was bent and battered from the storms of life I could see 
waves were rough, but that old ship kept sailing. Is that the old ship of Zion I see? At the stern of the ship stood the captain. I could hear as he called out my name. Get on board, it's the old ship of Zion. It will never pass this way again. As I step on board, I'll be leaving all my sorrows and heartaches behind. I'll be safe with Jesus the captain, sailing out on the old ship of Zion, sailing out on the old ship of Zion. Lord, I thank you for the day you've blessed us with, God. I pray that you will bless, help us to make the most of it. Whatever we faced yesterday is behind us. Whatever we face tomorrow is not here. God, I pray that you'll give us strength to face today. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Friday.